Merry Me YouTubers, this is Belinda Reedy, The Witch in Love. Today I'm going to be um, covering a topic, not necessarily a spell or anything like that. It's just a topic, something that I wish to share to you, um, something of, of my belief. Um, please, let me move over to the light a bit. By all means, know that this is simply my opinion. This is my way of seeing things and this is my way of... I'm sharing my knowledge of what I know of the craft and of what I know of my own experiences, okay? So I'm going to be talking about how do we know when spirit speaks to us? How do we know if um, we have a spirit guide or um, if our ancestors are trying to say something to us? How do we know? First of all, we all have an uh, inside voice in our head. Um, that tells us not to go through a certain road. That tells us to take a detour. That tells us not to take a job or go out with that one guy or one girl. Okay, that right there is your own spirit talking to you. Spirit comes in many forms. Spirit can come in the form of another person. It can come in form of a, a bird, a, a nature. It can come in form of a dream. The thing is not to stop listening. Don't close your mind. Spirit can come to you and say a few words of wisdom from a bum walking past you on the street. I, that's a horrible word to say. Just like a homeless person or anybody. Just anybody. All right. The, the thing is to know when to listen to spirit. There's mediumship, which means that the person can actually look at spirit and get detailed information from that spirit to communicate to the loved one they want to communicate to, which is what my husband does. There's empath, um, uh, empaths or um, um, sensitives, which is what I am. I see spirit. I can see the shadows. I can hear the voices. I can see the solid forms. I can see the mists. I can hear, get the messages if I'm sitting um, in a tarot reading. Um, the way I feel spirit and I see spirit is through dream form in my dreams or when I'm sitting in a tarot session and that person actually makes me go into that one moment. That one moment when they were in that pain. That one moment of a conversation. That moment. That one moment of that one particular... That one particular moment that they want me to express to the person. So I actually can feel, I can cry, I can get angry um, because that spirit comes and makes me feel that. That's the way I see spirit. Also, another way that I listen to spirit is by that inner voice. Another way I listen to spirit is by nature itself. Um, if I need a question answered, I'd go outside under the moonlight or no moonlight, whatever, ask a question, feel the earth, feel the elements, and see what I get back as a feedback. Um, whether it be a tree brushing, whether see, I see a bird flying by, a song playing. There are so many ways, endless ways, that spirit tries to contact or communicate to you. The thing is to keep our eyes and our ears open, not to be closed-minded, not to think that you can only communicate through spirit in a circle, because they're all around us all the time. Our spirit guides and our ancestors, our deities, all of them are around us. And if we were just to open we were just open our eyes to see and understand, to really actually open your eyes and listen to the creaks and the sounds and the birds and listen to people. A commercial can come on after you've been asking a question in your head. That commercial can answer your question. You know why? Because spirit used that form to communicate to you. If you're a very technological person, someone that's always on TV, someone that um, is driving and, and a certain thing comes up on the radio that answers your question. Or maybe you have a dream you don't really recall, but then something happens throughout your day that makes, me, makes you think, you know what, I dreamt about this. All right, so this is just me, my way um, I'm sharing a little bit of my experience, a little bit of my knowledge, um, 
trying little by little to develop more information for you guys, to bring more information, more knowledge, more spell work for you guys. This was just a little tidbit that I wanted to share to you because I just felt like I had to say this. Um, when our loved ones pass, there's always ways that they communicate to us, whether it be in a, a song or whether it be in a, a feeling or um, sometimes you will see them or dream of them. Just know that when you do dream of them and it feels really real, that's because it is. All right. So don't stop looking. Don't give up. Spirit is with you every day, all the time. All you got to do is fine tune those little signals in your head and really take, listen to the universe, to the spirit talking to you, to your ancestors, to your deities. They're there. All you got to do is really listen. Take care, you guys. This is Belinda Reedy, the Witch in Love. Look for me on Facebook on To Love a Witch. And like and subscribe. Many blessings.